finding out if a brand is truly sustainable, it's not a difficult process, really. We always got to ask them about accreditations and transaction certificates, because that's really important about the, the transparency, the validation behind it, how genuine is the actual produce itself. And then many brands use terms like sustainable, eco-friendly as marketing buzzwords. And it's important to dig a lot deeper. When I say a lot deeper, you've got to delve into what is the supply chain, not just from the actual manufacturing itself, but from the actual supplier behind them. So we always have to ask for details of sustainable practices that they are implementing. A truly sustainable company, if you actually call them or ask them for some sort of uh, evidence of eco practices and sustainability, they would gladly give you all the information that you need um, through certifications. Then you could ask the questions, can you validate what you're telling me to be genuine? And that's really important in today's era because one has to be able to tell the difference between the legitimate producer who in fact holds the accreditation and the greenwasher who claims that he has it too, but they don't. So you can even make claims um, to a third party. Now, while I refer to that, anyone that makes claims nowadays, it's always got to be a third party because evidence has to be impartial. That's why you should check the company's website or social media to see if their claims are backed by independent organizations. Such an organization could be the Hohenstein Institute that issued the OECOTEX 100 standard, as an example. So we, in fact, uh, have, we, in fact, I believe, the only company in our business model to have the Cradle to Gate sustainability platform. And it's quite interesting, in a sense, because each one of our products, you simply have to scan. Oh, where's that sheet? This is the validation system I'm showing you here. Now, if you look at these QR codes, you simply scan and you can check that we are validated according to the certification in question. So as an example, Safi, could you scan the bottom one over here? Okay. Which is the OECOTEX. This is for bamboo and for bamboo and cotton, right? So once that's scanned, it's validated so you can that we have the certificate, right? It's updated. And it's not like the it's a certificate to prove that we are validated, right? That that's important to understand that we as a company have it internally within our organization. And that's the beauty about Cradle to Gate as well. We have behind the validation process, each one of our stocks has a unique QR code. And what that means is once scanned, out jumps the sustainability report. And it's not just about how eco-friendly is the cotton, it has to do with social responsibility, traceability, transparency. I'm referring to the entire supply chain, not just our supply chain, but that supply chain, according to our supplier of yarn, they hold the same accreditations and processes. The anti-greenwashing validation system. Now, I'm going to keep this very brief because I'm not going to give you the 30 minute version. I'm going to try and do this in just one minute. So we implemented the anti greenwashing system because what we understand and the most important thing in business is if a customer can gain your trust through being honest and genuine with proper ethical business practices, you know, the validation and truthful, honest truth about accreditations that when, when it's investigated, we can, we can have the validation behind it. So what we've done is we have the BCOM Cradle to Gate, which is um, a very advanced system that I explained earlier, which takes into consideration 5,500 variables um, in the sustainability practice of it. We have Smita Pillar 4, which strengthens the ethical stances on product origin, supply chain ethics, and responsible production processes, improving the safety and benefits for employees. Then we have the ISO 9001 quality management system, ISO 14001, which helps organize organizations minimize environmental impacts and comply with regulations. So to give you an idea, we have uh, two central 
compressor areas where we have a special condensing machine which retains all the dirty oil. So any water going into groundwater, into the ground, is simply the equivalent of distilled water. There is no oil or anything else in there. We have uh, ISO um, 45001, which is Occupational Health and Safety. We have GOTS, we have the Global Recycled Standard, which tracks and verifies that recycled material content has effectively been used in the manufacturing process. And that is done through transaction certificates. 